Mike, a new reaction at this hour from an oil analyst to President Biden's announcement today to his attempt to bring down energy prices is on the ground in Ukraine. Officials say Russian forces have now withdrawn from Chernobyl and Ukraine's president tonight announced he's removed two of his top generals. Terrifying moments caught on camera in a small town near Kyiv where Russian shelling has been devastating. And Ukraine says these images show a convoy of Russian tanks its forces destroyed near the capital city. While Russia pledged to scale back military operations around Kyiv, President Biden and NATO not seeing the proof. There is no clear evidence that he's pulling all of his forces out of Kyiv. Russian units are not withdrawing, but repositioning. Repositioning and reportedly struggling, despite sharing footage like this of what Russia says were attack helicopters destroying Ukrainian positions, Western officials claim Russian soldiers are suffering low morale, weapon shortages, some refusing to carry out orders. Many of them were simply lied to about what they were doing. Some of them thought they were going on a training exercise, uh, weren't told that they were actually going into combat, into, into war. And as for the Russian president... He seems to be self-isolated. And there's some indication that he has um, fired or put under house arrest some of his advisors. But the humanitarian toll remains devastating. In Ukraine's second largest city, Kharkiv, heavy shelling in the past 36 hours, preventing them from opening corridors for people to flee. And Red Cross teams race to prepare to get civilians out of the besieged southern port city, Mariupol, where officials say 100,000 are trapped. Russia now agreeing to open a humanitarian corridor. The economic consequences of war growing too. Putin's war is imposing a cost on America and our allies. Talking about high gas prices, the president announcing measures to try to bring them down, announcing he'll release 180 million barrels of oil from U.S. reserves to increase the supply. Look, I know gas prices are painful. I get it. My plan's going to help ease that pain today. Yes, this will likely enhance the downturn that we expect in gas prices here over the next few weeks. Also today, a Kremlin spokesperson refuted U.S. claims that Putin's subordinates have been misleading him about how the war is going. And in Washington, House lawmakers introduced a bill to hold Putin accountable for potential war crimes. That humanitarian corridor in Ukraine, meantime, that is set to open tomorrow and peace talks also set to resume. For now, that's the latest live in the newsroom. I'll send it back to you.